good day everyone welcome back to conquer yesterday so last time we did things now we're going to continue on with the story here so let's go down here and i suppose we have to do the caveman part now now where oh yeah we have we have we have to go down there through Koo mountain it's been a while. But I have a good memory when it comes to these games, but not anything else. So now we go back in here, which is where we fought that giant singing pile of crap. And we have to jump down on these platforms. Now, we're, now that is disgusting. But it's stupidly creative because I don't think anyone has done it before up to this point. So anyway, as you can see here, there's a door and I like a little passageway here. And this is where we're supposed to be going to. So how much money do we have? We have a thousand three hundred and ten dollars, so that's exactly what we need. I'm gonna grab a life here because this part of the game is stupid. I do not like it. You have to be in very precise. You're under a breath limit. If you screw up once, you're gonna get chopped in half. Or into many pieces, I don't know. So. Okay, swim. Okay, we got it. Am I, I really hope to god I don't get this first try. Okay. Now, oh, I actually did it. I don't believe it. How did I manage to do that first try? So I don't want to jump up directly up because I'll get myself chopped off. Okay, I'm safe to jump. Now this part can really screw you over if you're not careful. But after all, this game is made for adults, so... Oh, that was... that was scary. What? Okay, we did it. There's no way I could screw up from here. Unless I decide to jump off for some stupid reason. But that won't happen, I hope. So now... We can go here and not fall into the lava, hopefully. Taking the crap behind the rock. You'll have to pay the toll. That's nice. There you go. A thousand dollars. Thank you. Can I get past now? Hey, I'm not finished yet. We're looking for a squimmo. And I think by the description given to me that you are a squirrel. <laughs> I am not a squirrel. Yes, you are. You fit the description perfectly. Oh, really? And, uh, could you describe this description to me? Well, short, <laughs> red fur, a big bushy tail, and a chunky nose. You're a squirrel, all right. And you're coming with me. Look. I tell you, I'm not a squirrel. Get your hands off me. Well, what are you then? I'm <laughs> an elephant. Squirrels aren't short and furry. They're big and gray. What? Yeah, that's the twitchy noses. They don't have them. <laughs> no, they're long and snouty. And they also have flappy ears. Are you sure? <laughs> God, I'm sure. Now, what would have been great if he actually captured an oh. elephant? Oh, uh, there's nothing like a good sh Now then. I agree. I agree. Uh, it's alright. It's alright. That's not a squirrel. He's an elephant. An elephant. You stupid twat. Oh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
if you were a if you just whistle in a bank and all the money starts hopping to you oh good lord that would that would be amazing well at least everyone's IQ here is lower than the room temperature so now we are in the caveman part of the game Nope, I almost died there. Oh, frick. That is not good. I do not like that. I do not appreciate that at all. So anyway, oh, there are two of them. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Uh, should I wait for one to pass? No, that wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea. Now I have to go up, hey, and there we go. Me. And, and while we're at it, we get a piece of cash. Ding. Hey, where the f*** you been, you ginger bastard? Ginger bastard. Cool. I can put it for the rest of my dead presidents. Huh. That joke completely flew over my head. I do not know what he means. But anyway... But now, this part of the game introduces you to the caveman thing. And he gets squashed. That was short-lived. Now we're here. I forgot what the first thing you do in this game is. Oh right, you have to do something with one of these guys. Oh yeah, there's this rock here. And there's a giant party back there, that's pretty cool. Oh god, he's gonna... And he throws up. Amazing. Oh, Red, I know what I have to do. Sally, if it's here. It's not going to despawn or anything, I, at least I hope so. So now that thing opens up. So now I can't do that anymore. But at least I have the rock over here now, so I can just roll it through. And we're going right- nope. The camera decided to turn its angle, so that's cool. So now we throw that rock all the way down the hill. Haha, <laughs> 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 it's so wacky and goofy. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's not coming back. He's dead too. As for me, I'm alive. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, Maestro, don't you think that's a little bit too dramatic? I agree. Can you give me something with a bit more of a beat? <laughs> yeah, that's better. Alright, so I'm going to end this here. We're going to be doing things next episode, I suppose. Anyway, see ya.